Oh. As a US Hi. Open champion, welcome back to Wimbledon. Um, I guess, what are you looking forward to the most this year being here? Definitely looking forward to walking out onto the court for the first time and just experiencing the atmosphere. I think that whatever happens, it's just something that you, that I would, would dream of, you know, why I play tennis, to walk out onto onto court here at Wimbledon, hearing the atmosphere, hearing everyone behind you. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just really looking forward for that moment. It's been a tough couple of years for the world, really, um, also for Wimbledon. And finally this year, we're going to have a full house. How special is that going to be for someone like you and uh, being obviously British to be here with a full crowd? Yeah, incredibly special. I felt like everyone was really behind me last year and it wasn't even full capacity. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting out on court this year, of course. And uh, yeah, I think that Wimbledon, everything sort of started here for me. And uh, I'm really excited to, to come back here with some of the experiences that I've learned in the last year. So as you can see behind us, as they're watering this beautiful, magnificent court, it's the 100 years anniversary of Senna Court. Can you tell me your earliest memory of this particular court, whether it was on television or in person? Yeah, my earliest memory of Wimbledon Centre Court in person was I came here with my first ever coach and a, a little boy who was like a bit older than me at the time. But uh, we came here and, and we actually watched Serena. She, she absolutely creamed someone in like 45 minutes. <laughs> And um, that was definitely my earliest memory and I just couldn't believe, you know, how hard she was hitting the ball and how, how good they were. And, but that, that whole day trip for me was, uh, it was so much fun. I remember it was like a once a year thing that we would look forward to and we were asking everyone for their autographs. From, from the ground staff, we were getting everyone's autographs and uh, it was a treat. So whenever we would have the courage to, you know, ask a player for their autograph, we'd get a jelly baby. So yeah, that, that's definitely my fondest memory. Can you take me back to last year? Because it was just a phenomenal rise for you. That's where really everyone sort of found out about your name in particular, before what happened in New York. What was that feeling like for you to play here and get the support of the hometown crowd? Yeah, that experience for me, it's, it's where it all started. I just came out of my exam, so I just felt so relieved, like everything was <laughs> off my shoulders. I was just like, you know, a kid having fun, like just going crazy and, uh, then playing, I think the the most special moment was when I won my third round match on court one. And uh, yeah, the feeling I had, I, I had it once after I won the US Open. It was literally just like, I don't know, my body sort of stopped and I didn't know what was going on. And um, yeah, very emotional, but I really enjoyed that. And, and I feel like coming back here, I'm even more looking forward to it because yeah, of the crowd and everything. When you were here watching that match, uh, when you saw Serena play or sit in here. What's the one thing about this particular court that is so unique and different to anywhere else in the world? Well, for me, I feel like it's just the, the feeling and uh, the history and the prestige about it. Um, I think that it's just like being British. I feel like I always grew up, especially at Wimbledon, following it. You know, all your memories to do with tennis are sort of Wimbledon from an early age. and. Um, that's, that's definitely, I feel like, the, the most special thing about this place is that it's got a, a bit of a different feeling to, to maybe the other tournaments. Now, you said you had watched Serena in here, but if there was another match throughout the last 100 years of this particular court, and there's been some spectacular matches, if you could sit in a seat here again, um, not that you need to worry about getting tickets anymore, but if you had to and you got that lottery ticket, what match would you like to go back on in history of the last 100 years here and watch? I would say I would have loved to have been here for Annie Murray's first title. I think that the whole country was just going wild and uh, I would have loved to sort of be here and experience it in person and hear it because uh, I bet the sound was, was pretty surreal and I think that they turn it down on TV because it's quieter when they watch things back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you've experienced it now. <laughs> We've talked to a lot of people in the local area about the inspirational things, uh, whether it be you know watching their kids ride a bike for the first time or whatever it is. Is there one memory that you have um, that inspired you just in general? I would actually say one that's more recent is last year, 
I, you know, I came, I was ranked like 360, I came out of my exams, I was just buzzing to be here, practicing and, and just trying to line up these, these great hits and, uh, you know, Nigel, who I was with last year, he, he knew players because he's been on tour and uh, he set me up on this hit with Garbinier. And uh, I was really, really nervous before. I remember I did like the best warm up I've done in a year. So <laughs> I was ready to go. And um, yeah, hitting with her, I think that I was, it definitely inspired me and gave me confidence because I, you know, was keeping up and I was working so hard just to not miss because, you know, you don't want to look bad <laughs> and miss in front of Carveen. So um, I was, yeah, definitely putting a lot of focus and attention. And I realized like, wow, if I put this amount of focus and attention, um, to not miss in every single practice and to be in the right position and then everything that that sort of opened my eyes a bit and then I was I got the compliment she asked me to come back the next day so I was <laughs> buzzing I was like yes I did it but she asked me to put it on like a 10 pence coin so, <laughs> <laughs> so you became a hitting partner to the stars now you are now a star so a year after having the success that you had here and of course winning a Grand Slam already at your tender age, going through qualifying and all of that sort of stuff, to come back here, it might be a chance to walk onto that court. What are you going to tell yourself if you do have that opportunity to walk around those curtains <laughs> and onto this court? I mean, I'd probably just tell myself that this is, this is what I started playing tennis for. To, to walk onto centre court, it's, it's literally like, you know, what you have a vision of, what you have a picture of in your head, and I think it's going to be the most special feeling. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy that I would have been able to say, look, I did that, I played on centre court, but obviously looking forward to, to getting out there and putting my game on the court too. Well, um, I think everybody here is very interested to see how you do. They'll be very much behind you as they were last year. And, and after what you did in New York last year, I think... Uh, we're going to be looking at you playing on there many, many times for years to come. So good luck. Thank you. Good.